Hello everyone, it's Jackie here with another swap journal for Junk Journal Junkies. This is the Paris uh, swap and this, hello, this is my journal. Um, it's 7x5 with a 1.5 inch spine. I'm going to try and show you the outside and the spine by bringing this up a bit. Um, I'm not so good at this, but anyway, there you go. Um, so there's lace, um, a sort of button I've made here, vintage cameo type thing with a metal plate and this is um, glossy accents on a little piece of ephemera. It's a little bit of vintage lace, a bit of bling. I've tried to um, sort of match her dress, I guess, um, as best I can. And then on the back we've got some bows um, made from sari silk, lace and there's also a charm on here, a dangle, um, if I can find it, <laughs> I'll show you what's on it. So there's Eiffel Tower, some beads, sorry get this out of the way, um, perfume, bottle, beads, Day. There we go. There's a shoe, a little bell, a parasol, and um, some heart, and a little bit more blingy stuff on there. So, if we go inside, uh, the tie is ribbon, as you can see. This is fabric um, over chipboard, and I've used paper on the inside. Uh, I've made some um, embellishments from this paper. It's Paris paper and I've used lace on some of the edges here. Um, there are quotes which was a requirement, Paris quotes I've used, uh, quotes were a requirement of the swap and I've used coffee dyed paper. I haven't dyed the scrapbook paper that I've used, I didn't feel it needed it in this journal but anyway you could always paint over that if you wanted to some fabric collages here and there um, and some washi tape and paper collages and some vintage type ephemera there isn't any or there isn't much um, real vintage in this one some of the papers I have sprayed um, to match the the cover colors so it's sort of pink I've made three fabric covered tags these are very much Nazi inspired. Thank you Nazi from Amity Bloom. Her link is below if you want to look her up. She's a very very talented young lady and there's some charms on the edges here. I've just used three so there's another Eiffel Tower. A bit of fabric there. This bit of ephemera is genuine um, and is quite old. I've used hearts in the middle of the signatures. There are three signatures and the requirement was for five pages. I think I've done six actually, sorry about that. Um, this is a vintage postcard and it is French. It was sent to somebody um, in the UK, but obviously a French lady living or working over here. Unfortunately, the post, uh, the stamp is missing from that. Cute, cute picture. This is um, a journal card I've made. And this is the other side of the first signature. Um, this actually is a little tuck spot if you did want to use that for something small. Okay, another fabric collage there. Pretty doily staining on my, I think this is tea stained actually, that one, not coffee. So lady from the Moulin Rouge in Paris in, well, doesn't actually say, but the early 1900s, I would guess. This is my second fabric tag. There's a little butterfly on that one. Um, these are only clipped in, so these can be taken out if you don't want to use them. There's a little pin there with them. Um, some lace added onto it and this is sari silk edging, washi tape collage and a bit of stamping here. It's another journal card, um, tuck spot with one of 
the flags. I've made three of these as well. Um, have the Eiffel Tower in there. <laughs> Another lady. I think most of my ladies were um, Moulin Rouge dancers. So on to the third signature. This is another um, old postcard. This one has got the stamp on it. A Republic of France, but I can't see the date, unfortunately. I think it's 23rd of December, but I don't know what year that is. And the third tag, fabric tag. And a bottle of champagne is the charm on that one. Or holding that one on. Some more fabric. More ephemera. This is a tuck spot. I haven't got anything in there at the moment. Um, this side, I haven't glued it down to make it into a tuck spot. So you could hide something under there or glue it down, whichever you want. Um, this is just backed onto coffee dyed paper, so you can write on the back of that. And final quote, and another lady in the tuck spot, and another journal card made from a stamp French writing. And this um, journal card has got my information on the back of it, but I've just done that in pencil, so you can rub that out if you wanted to. And that's my swap. Um, I hope my partner, whoever she is or he, likes it. I enjoyed making it and I really like how it turned out as well. Um, uses my favourite colours, this sort of purpley pink. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you again soon. Bye bye.